Most defensive pressure comes from directly up the middle or around the tackles. These are called the A and C gaps. However, you can attack the QB from the B gap as well. The B gap pressure works extremely well because most gamers are so used to pressure from the A gap that they instinctively move in the pocket in a way that will make them vulnerable to B gap blitzes. In the following video, we're going to run you through three different ways to set up B gap pressure with the help of the 4 6 normal defense. Now, before we do that, we want to run you through exactly where each gap in the offensive line lies. Between the left guard and the center, and the center and the right guard, those are considered the A gap. So that's the most direct way that your defender can get to the quarterback. Now, to the guard to the tackle on the outsides of your offensive line, this is considered the B gap. This is the gap that we're going to be attempting to attack here in the following examples. Now as we take a look at the first example, we want to pick the 4-6 normal defense and head into a play known as the weak blitz. You can see us selecting the play on the play call screen, and our opponent comes out in the shotgun normal formation. Now once we've selected our plays, the movements that we have to make on the field are very quick and very easy. The first thing you want to do once you're on the field is shift your defensive line to the left. Once you've shifted your defensive line to the left, the next step that you're going to want to take is shifting your linebackers to the right. The shifting of the linebackers allows our right outside linebacker, who's actually the linebacker on the left hand side of the screen, to shoot right through the B gap on the left side of the offensive line. As we run it through this first time, you can see as soon as Breeze takes a snap, our linebacker does a great job of shooting that gap. Now he's got a perfect angle when, after the shift is made to attack the quarterback. Let's take a look at another play. Again, we go to the 4-6 normal formation. This time, the play we're going to look at is called 3-deep blitz. The setup for this play is once again the exact same. We shift the defensive line to the left and shift the linebackers to the right. Notice once again, the shifting of the linebackers changes the right outside linebackers blitzing angle to now shoot right through the B gap. As soon as the snap's taken, again, our linebacker hits the hole and the quarterback is sacked unexpectedly. The engage 8 is the last play that we're going to take a look at. Now obviously this plays blitzing so many defenders that the manual movements aren't really required to bring pressure. However, what we want you to focus on is how our linebacker attacks the B gap in this example. Notice his angle isn't quite as sharp in this example, however he hits the hole just the same. The real key to creating good B gap pressure is to find a defense that forces both the guards and the tackles to be accountable, allowing your blitzer to shoot right between them for a big sack. 